I grew up in an ordinary town. I was an ordinary kid from an ordinary family. We didn't have loads of books, but we had some books. So I didn't come from a very literary background. And people say, where do your ideas come from? Why did you become, why did you become a writer? And I think another thing that turned me into a writer was something else that you might recognise as well. In our family, there were people like my Auntie Jan. Now, my Auntie Jan was a little woman with dark hair. She was an identical twin, so there she is. Auntie Jan had never read a book in her life. But what she could do, she could stand in a room or sit in a room with her family around, and she could natter and gossip and go on and on and on and on with words spilling off her tongue. And I remember sitting as a little boy and thinking, oh, no, she's off again. Have you got anybody like that at your families? Yeah, we all have, don't we? And I remember thinking, oh, no, Auntie Jan's off again. But weirdly, I know when I'm writing well that the voice of people like me, Auntie Jan, who had never written, read a book in her life, come through to my words. And I think that's another thing about words, about pages of books. They look very distant. They look like kind of distant literature. The black marks on paper but they're also to do with this thing. They're also to do with the human voice. And I think it's really important to remember that, that words on the page are sounds as well. And sentences are like the sentences that spe people speak. And my sentences come from people like me, Auntie Jan, who had never read a book in our life. Another big influence on me in this ordinary little town, that word ordinary is really weird, isn't it? Because when I was growing up and people would say to me, what do you think you want to be when you grow up, son? And I would say, well, I want to play for Newcastle. And people would say, oh, yeah, you want to play for Newcastle. And then occasionally I would say, I think I want to be a writer. And people would say, a writer? How do you think you can be a writer? You're just an ordinary kid from an ordinary family that goes to an ordinary school. Who do you think you are? What are you going to have to write about? But the kind of paradoxical thing is, the more I've written about that place that I grew up in, about the people that I grew up with, about the landscape of the Northeast, the more my books have got published all around the world. And in many ways, they're about very ordinary people doing very ordinary things. And often we think about our own lives, don't we think, my life's just ordinary. But there's no such thing as ordinary. Each of our lives, each of your lives, contains extraordinary elements. Because you are all extraordinary. We are all amazing, creative, extraordinary people. Anyway, just down the hill from where I lived, after school and during weekends and holidays, I'd get together with my friends on a little patch of grass. And the patch of grass was just, you know, the size of this space that we're in now. So I'd get together with my friends and we'd play. What do you think we played on this patch of grass? After school and at weekends, what do you think we played? Yeah? Football. Football. We played football constantly. We were football nuts. We'd get together on the patch of grass, play, play, play on this little muddy patch of grass. And because it was a little town, everybody would passing by would look across and say, oh, there's the boys playing football on that little patch of grass. But to us who were playing on the patch of grass, that muddy patch of grass wasn't a patch of grass in our imaginations. Where was it in our imaginations, in our heads? Where was it? Wembley. It was Wembley. It was Wembley, or it was St. James's Park, because we, we supported Newcastle. So to us, we were playing in a famous stadium. And anybody passing by would look across and say, oh, there's David and Peter and Terry and Colin. But I wasn't little David Armand running around on the patch of grass. Who was I in here? Who was I in my head? Yeah. Michael Owen. Somebody like Michael Owen. Yes, we were all famous footballers. And we all know that feeling, don't we? When you play something, you commit your whole body to it, but you also commit this thing, which makes it extraordinary. And what this thing is, is a head and an imagination. I used to think the imagination was going to be something really strange and something really hard, but actually, the imagination is us. The imagination is inside us, just waits to be used. And even when we're playing things like football, it's an act of the imagination. So the imagination, it's just there, waiting to be used. The imagination is us. That's what we are. 